for a big baking disaster. Welcome to the Place de Marche Baking Festival. Bonjour! Do you smell that? I love the smell of freshly baked anything. And so does my best friend Lisa. Mmm, croissants. See? Gaspar! Gaspar, your papa and I are taking Charles to his chess exhibition. And we better get going or we'll be late. I think we may be late anyway. It's going to be tricky getting through the crowd at the festival. Oh, that must be your Granny Matilde. She is going to look after you while we're gone. Hmm. I wish we could go to the baking festival. Croissants, macaroons, cherry tarts. Mmm, it does smell delicious. Granny Matilde! Bonjour, Gaspar. Bonjour, Lisa. I have an idea. Why don't we do some baking ourselves? Really? What should we make? Let's see. How about croissant, anyone? Yay! Woo! Can we eat them too? Of course. We're off now. Have fun, you three. And save some croissants for us. Bye. Au revoir. I know all about baking. What do you want me to do first? Before we do anything, we have to wash our hands. <laughs> Now, to be real bakers, you must wear proper bakers' hats. Thank you! Hey! Who turned the lights out? <laughs> Lisa, is that you? <laughs> is he always this silly? Always! <laughs> That's better. Thanks. Next, we make the dough, which means we'll need milk and butter and flour Ooh. and yeast. I'll get the flour. And I'll get the yeast. Uh, what's yeast? Yeast is what makes the dough rise. You see how flat this cracker is? Yes. That's because it was made without yeast. But look at this fluffy croissant. That's what happens when we add yeast. Oh. Oh, I see. Me too. Without yeast, we'd have flat croissants. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Uh, here's the flour. Did you find the yeast, Gaspar? Um. What does yeast look like? Yeast is a powder. It comes in little square packets. Uh, like this? That's it. You found it. All of our ingredients are ready. Time to get going. Now we stir it all together. Give it a stir. I'm stirring with my best friend, Gaspar. I'm stirring and it's fun. Making dough is fun with Gaspar. And Granny Matilde. <laughs> That's a silly song, Lisa. Why, thank you, Gaspar. Okay, you two. I think that's enough stirring. Now, it's time to add the yeast so the dough will rise and get nice and fluffy. Oh, the telephone. Hmm. There. What are you doing, Gaspar? I'm adding a little yeast to the dough. You should wait until Granny Matilda gets back. I'm just going to stir in one little packet. Now, where did I put my spoon? Hmm. These are so small. Maybe one packet isn't enough. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. I can't see the dough rising. Can you? Hmm. Nope. Oops. Maybe one more. Hmm. 
Maybe we should add some more yeast. More? Really? If you think so. Hmm. Still nothing. Maybe just one more packet. Okay, but that's it. Uh, oh, we used all the yeast. Lisa, look! It's rising. Granny Matilda's gonna be so happy. Uh, the dough's rising pretty fast, isn't it? Too fast. We have to stop it. Quick, Gaspar, the baking trays. We should have waited for Granny Matilde. Uh, don't blame me. I was only trying to help. Anyway, I only put in a few packets. It's not my fault either. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Catastrophe! I think it stopped. Hmm? That's a lot of dough. I'm sorry I got mad and blamed you, Gaspar. It was my fault, too. I added more yeast to the dough when you were under the table. Really? That's a lot of yeast. Well, it's okay. And thanks for not being mad anymore. That's what best friends do. Make up after they get mad. But what should we do now? We could make a big, giant croissant. That's a great idea, but I think we'd also need a big, giant oven. You're right. It wouldn't fit. Luckily, I have a great idea. We can make lots and lots of normal-sized croissants. And then we can eat them. <laughs> yes, Gaspar. Then we can eat them. Rolling the dough, we're rolling the dough. Gaspar and me, we're rolling the dough to make croissants. In the whole world. Oh my! Where did all these come from? It was all my fault, Granny Matilde. I put in too much yeast, and the dough got really big. And I put in more too much, and it got even bigger. So it's my fault, too. And we didn't think one big croissant would fit in the oven. So we made lots of normal sized croissants. And that's where they all came from. We're both really sorry, Granny Matilde. Oh! Ah! Oh, we forgot to clean those up, too. Please don't be mad, Granny Matilde. We were only trying to help. It's lovely that you wanted to help, but you really should have waited for me. And what are we going to do with all of these croissants? There's enough to feed all of Paris. <gasps> Great idea! We can feed all of Paris. We can take the croissants down to the baking festival. That is a great idea. Thank you. I don't see why not, as long as they taste good enough. But first, we have to bake them. And while that's happening, you two can clean up this mess. Come on, Lisa. We'll do it together. Cleaning up the kitchen, Gaspar and me. We're making it real shiny while Granny Matilde bakes the croissants. And then we'll eat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who wants to go first? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Me. How about I count to three and you both have a taste? Mm. Ready? One, two, three. Mmm! Delicious! Now for the real test. Mmm? Hmm. Not bad. Quite good, in fact. Phew! I think that you two just made the best croissant I've ever tasted. Yes! Try them! <laughs> All right, my little bakers. Let's take your croissant 
to the festival so everyone can enjoy them. <sighs> we can't forget about Mama and Papa. And this one's for Charles. Oh! And one more for me and my best friend Lisa. Because we might be hungry when we get back. Come on, Gaspar. Croissants! Get your fresh croissants here! Monster Hunters! Please hurry up. Coming, Mama. The world's greatest explorers are on their way. Climbing the highest mountain in the world. Oh, hello. Bonjour. My best friend Lisa came home with me after school today. We're having an adventure. Come on, almost there. Oh, look out. Children! Sorry, Monsieur Hougé. Sorry. We're climbing up this huge mountain to get home. You mean the stairs? Yes. Where are you going, Monsieur Hougé? I have to get milk for brulee. That little cat goes through a carton of kitten milk a day. Whoa! Is that a lot? Yes, Gaspar. Quite a lot. Well, goodbye, children. And don't fall off the uh, mountain. <laughs> we won't. Bye. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Almost there. Made it. Hooray for, for the, the great, great explorers. Here you are. Your papa just called from the station. I have to go and pick him up. Can Lisa still stay? Of course. Charles is here to keep an eye on you. And I left milk and sandwiches if you're hungry. Mwah. Be good. Yes, Mama. Au revoir. Bye, Gaspar's Mama. <laughs> Oof. What do you want to do first? We could draw pictures. I want to have another adventure. What kind of adventure? Something huge and exciting and adventurous. <gasps> what was that? It came from the kitchen. Look! How did this happen? What have you done? Why did you knock over the milk? But it wasn't us. Really? So, I suppose there's some mysterious monster loose in the house. Yes! It made a noise just after it knocked over our milk. Ugh, you're hearing things. Just clean it up. And don't come bothering me. I'm listening to music. Hmm, do you really think it could be a monster? Hmm... Some kind of weird animal, maybe. Like a bear, only with horns and wings. <laughs> Whatever it is, it likes milk. It must have knocked the cups over trying to get some. <gasps> the monster! It's back! And it's in Mama and Papa's room. Come on! Uh, but... What if it's not a friendly monster? What if it has big, scary eyes and sharp teeth? Even worse, what if it's a chicken? <laughs> I can't stand chickens. I don't think it's a chicken, Gaspar. But I'll go in first, just to make sure. Thanks, Lisa. But we should go in together. That's what best friends do. Stick together. Right. Together? We're the best monster hunters ever. Hmm, but if we're going to be monster hunters, we need monster hunting stuff. Come on. Flashlight, magnifying glass, whistle. I found these in your cupboard. What's the feather for? For tickling the monster, of course. After we catch it with this, it'll be great. The best adventure ever. All right, then. Monster hunters, ready to hunt. Yay! Look! The monster knocked 
the lamp over. That must have been the noise we heard. But there's no sign of him now. He must have escaped. He could be anywhere. Wait a minute. Look at that yarn. The monster knocked the bag over, then rolled the yarn over here around the chair and all the way over to the closet. And the closet door is open, so that must mean... <gasps> the, the monster's in the closet! closet. <laughs> we did it! We trapped the monster! Hooray! But now what do we do? It can't stay in there forever. Uh, if we can make it come out somehow, you can trap it in your net. And then we'll tickle it and make it go away. Great idea. But how do we get it to come out? We could ask, politely. <clears throat> Monster, come out of the closet. You forgot to say please. Please. It didn't work. Well, if the monster won't come out, we'll have to go in and get it. You go first. Really? It's not that I'm scared exactly. <laughs> ah! Well, I'm scared a little. And it's okay to tell me if you're scared too, Gaspar. That's what best friends do. Tell each other when they're scared. Really? Well, I am a little scared then. Don't worry, Gaspar. There's no need to be afraid of a monster. <laughs> I knew you'd sing. You think singing helps everything. Well, it does. With the two of us together, we can be twice as brave. Lisa and Gaspar, the famous monster hunters. On our big adventure. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It did help. On the count of three, we'll open the door, go in, and get him together. Ready? Uh-huh. Ready. One, two, three, open! Hello? Hello? Monster? Huh? huh? Come on. Saving. Where did the monster go? What's going on in here? Huh? What have you done to Mama and Papa's bedroom? The monster got us. At least, we thought it did. Gaspar, Charles, where are you? I'm in here, Mama. Wait till they see this. Oh? <gasps> oh, no! What happened? Gaspar and Lisa came in here to play and made a huge mess. But we weren't playing, Mama. We were trying to catch the monster in your closet. Yes, the monster. Children, there's no such thing as a monster in the... That's it. That's the noise we heard. The monster. Uh, but what on earth could it be? Achoo! Oh, that's odd. I never sneeze like this unless there's something around I'm allergic to. Achoo! That's it. That's what? We know what the monster is. Something that likes milk. And likes to play with yarn. It makes Papa sneeze. Something like... Brulee! But how did Monsieur Houget's cat get in our... <gasps> closet? <laughs> she must have sneaked out of Monsieur Houget's and followed us in when we came home. And now she's too afraid to come out. I know how we can get her out. Kitten milk. She loves it. Brule. Here, Brule. We've got something for you. Come on. That's it. We, we did, did it! it. <laughs> we caught Brule the monster. Yes! Child! One of our best adventures.
adventures ever. But now you better take Brule back down to Monsieur Hergé. He must be worried about her. Then you can come back and help us clean up this room. Yes, Mama. Mm-hmm. Come on, Brule. And maybe next time, you can have an adventure that doesn't make me... <laughs> sneeze. <laughs> Monsieur Hugé, we found... Brule! Ah, I've been looking everywhere for her. She followed us upstairs when we weren't looking. You naughty cat. Thank you, children. Sometimes she can be very hard to find. Well, we are the best monster hunters in all of Paris. Hmm, but I'm still glad she wasn't a chicken. <laughs> <laughs>